So, Yachty actually sat down with Andrew Schultz, and the song that I'm talking about, Little Yachty spoke about really yes, quickly. Now, before I play this clip, um, he gave the song to, to Kasanat, and it seemed like most of Drake's supporters, or even people that are just casual fans, liked the record. Like, it was a cool little bop. It was calm. It was nice. It was also... Uh, Sampled from Hotspot. For those of you who are not familiar with Hotspot, Mr. Hotspot, Mr. Hotspot. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I just always been calling him Hotspot for oh, years. Did. Same thing. But yeah, he's Mr. Hotspot. You, you don't call him Twin. He's Twin. He's from Atlanta. Okay, we'll you don't call, 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 call him Twin. That's Twin. Uh, that's that's twin. Making sure, he, he from Atlanta. I, I know you just be throwing that around. And no, shit. I, I don't even feel special no more. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we can all be twins. No, we can't though. Why we all can't be twins? Nigga, call me bro. <laughs> nah, nigga, that's mad general. Call me bro. That's general. Not for you. Not twin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Hotspot, he's always made... Uh, he's a social media guy, right? Like, mm -hmm. he did a bunch of skits mm -hmm. and things of that if nature. If you guys see his face, you're going to immediately recognize yeah, him. Yeah, like, just Google it right now. You're going to be like, oh, and, I've seen him on Instagram yeah. before. And, and he was big on dancing. He was big on dancing. Yeah. He was big on Vine. Yep, like, yep, he yep. was one of those creators mm -hmm. over the past decade on social media. Yeah. Since then, he also makes music. And... Um, a couple years ago, he was making secular music, mm -hmm. right? Which is just music that anyone can digest. It might have some curse words in it, you know, things of that nature. As of recently, he's kind of pivoted, yeah. and he's really in tune with his uh, his faith, yeah, his faith, his religion, yeah. etc. Et and, and he works with kids, um, big on kids. He works with kids now, right? And Lil Yachty sat with Andrew Schultz on Flagrant, and he kind of spoke about how the record came about because people wanted the record to actually come out because they liked it, mm -hmm. and he kind of explains why. We couldn't get the, the sample cleared. Uh, hey. So I just let Kyle play it. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Yeah. So that's not coming out. No. But it's everywhere. Mm. Yeah, but it's just a snippet. No, I let him play the whole song. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I tried to listen to it and it felt like the quality was. I mean, maybe, but shit, it's still out there. Yeah. Okay. Does, I'm sorry. How does that work business wise? I know that your man, maybe he doesn't charge you, but let's. Kai? Okay. No, no, no. I'm talking about Drake. So it's like if you have. Whoa, if, charge you have a, me? if you have a feature from somebody. I don't somebody, think Drake charges anyone. I think he's not doing I think the he's feature if he don't of, fuck with you. Okay, mm -hmm. so outside of Drake, let's say you had a feature, um, it's on a song, the sample doesn't get pro uh, approved. And you leak it, do you still have to pay that artist for that verse, even though you're not putting it out and making any money off it? No. But but that but you the only people you like give Fiji to, they're paying before. Mm -hmm. You pay me before I do the verse. Mm. Uh God, so uh, pay me for a verse and not giving you the verse, then you pay me. And you pay me before I even do it, because I don't probably don't know you. Gotcha. But okay. you make a song with someone else's music. A lot of people confuse about this. And then hope that they give you the rights? What do you mean? Like in this situation, like you couldn't get the sample clear. Yeah, but this wasn't an artist. This was an Instagram social media influencer. And they wouldn't clear a sample? Yeah, he went down like a Christian path. Got it. Wow. Oh, that's... Got it. Oh, okay, I respect so, that. So, before you have any more uh, comments on that, I also want to play what Hotspot replied to that with real quick, and we can get, kind of get into it, just to hear his uh, perspective. Much respect to bro. Uh, and we sent it in to them. So, hopefully, they re-record the clean reference, and we come we come out with the clean goodness, gracious all together. So, I said, it's a process, but it's, it'll be good for both of their brands. Why you talk like that? Like that. Like so. I'm blessed to work with children, so we just gotta make it clean for them. Like when right, so I get it. children get So basically, um Drake, Lil Yachty, they made a song, it had a sample in it. Um, they wanted to put it out. Before you put it out, you have to get it cleared. Hot, uh, Mr. Hotspot, a.k.a. Alex's twin, he twin. didn't uh, clear it, and so now they got this back and forth. Yeah. I think the one thing that I took away from this, because this is standard like music shit. We hear about sample clearances all the time, people not clearing things, whatever the case may be. The one thing that I was like, eh, I don't know how I really feel about that, is Yachty saying, oh, yeah, I just leaked it. Yeah, and also, it's not like he said way more than that. He really kind of like diminished... Mr. Hotspot in general, he's like, yeah, absolutely. whatever. I'm like, I'll just, I'll just release it. Like, who cares? And that was every like absolutely. his whole response to that. I wasn't really feeling that, but yeah, I don't know if I have any expectations for a little Yachty. I think since he's been introduced to us, I've always thought, and and uh, Charleston White said this, and I thought it was pretty <laughs> like accurate mm -hmm. for all the wild shit that Charleston White says. Uh, but this was one of the things I was like, oh wait, I think he actually sees Yachty 
uh, for what Yachty is, which is Yachty it just seemed out of touch. Mm. He just seems a little bit detached from reality. Absolutely. And again, going back to Drake being a victim of his success, I think it's just being a victim of success. When you just have blind spots, because you're just a super creative, you're super talented, you're super looped in, whatever the case may be, I think that's something that applies to Lil Yachty. Like going back to his um, issue with Joe a few years ago on Complex, not really understanding the business of his business mm -hmm. in real time. Mm -hmm. And Joe trying to explain to him, now it was very animated and it looked kind of crazy. Best meme of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it looked kind of crazy when it was happening. Yeah. Yeah. But the message that Joe was trying to share with Lil Yachty is, Essentially, you're out of touch. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Like that he should care more. You that know? You, you, yeah. you should right. care more. You should be a little bit more aware. And this is just one of those things where I feel like maybe he's just unaware or maybe he just doesn't give a fuck. Or you're just in a position where you don't have to be aware because I'm already super up. Yeah. Drake is not charging me for features. I'm allegedly his ghostwriter. I'm lit. I'm writing for the city girls. I'm lit. I'm me. So I don't got to play by the same rules as everybody else. That's what it feels like Lil Yachty is doing. But it also comes off a way to... a. Uh, 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 the average creator or the person who does yeah. have to think about, oh, wait, so you're just going to use my likeness? You're just going to go around me like, fuck out of here, nigga. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Like, that's how I was listening to Lil Yachty. Like, yeah. who, you really, like, oh, you think you him for real, for real. Because, like, you clearly like, let's say I was a content creator, you liked... You, you liked my content enough that you wanted it for your song, so you value that. But then you don't value me as a creator because now you're not even <laughs> going to do what I asked of you. When I heard uh, Hot Spot's response, I clapped. <laughs> I clapped, yeah. Yeah. and I, I was taken aback a little bit because you don't get too many people who are going to deny to do business with Drake, Drake yeah. and especially stand on his morals. and stand on your morals and what you align with, mm -hmm. right? Like capitalism has tricked us into thinking that we all want the same things. So a lot of people in the comments, like, why would you fumble? Why would you do this? That's your Drake feature. You're out of here if you do that. And you can tell, like, Hotspot don't give a damn no, he's, he's about not, none of that. Shit. He's like, nice. I didn't fumble. Like, oh. I don't want to do this. Yeah. And I don't know. I was gonna say it, it says a lot to. Like having having a heart, having a soul, having a conscious, especially in this industry. Exactly. Like mm -hmm. in this industry, that's not easy to find. You mm -hmm. know, to find somebody who would be like, you know, what, I'm putting the kids first, mm -hmm. or I'm a lot. See, this this is my whole thing, right? Hot Spot strikes me as the individual who, yeah, the Drake like collab that could probably bring in a lot of money or opportunity, but he seems more satisfied to accept and be a part of whatever he aligns with. Mm -hmm. And whatever he aligns with, it looks like he's just okay with whatever comes back from that. And that's something a lot of people struggle with. John B. just told y'all, everybody ain't trying to sell their soul. <laughs> everybody don't, everybody don't want to be Justin Timberlake. Mm. Some people want to be JC. <laughs> Some people want to like have talent and keep their soul intact and not do the bullshit yeah. that comes with being in the industry. This is and Mr. Hotspot is just a perfect example. An, Another, anom an anomaly. An anomaly. But not so much. I think the reason it's an anomaly because we don't really champion it. Right. We actually clown it. And we clown it in the sense of like a Big Sean. I think Big Sean is somebody who seems, who appears to have really navigated his career with some type of self-awareness and integrity. Right. Yeah. And I think it backfires, and I think it was on full display with his interview with Charlemagne the God. Mm. I think there was a lot to kind of tap in. And now there's some things that we could laugh at and joke at and all that shit. But I think him as a person, he always keeps that at the forefront whenever I hear him speak. Right. The person of Sean Anderson. Mm -hmm. And like you said, in this industry, people don't want to hear that. People want to hear the slaps. Yeah. People want to be a part of the, you know, the messy stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to see that there are still people like a Sean or like a hot spot mm -hmm. that working within mm -hmm. this industry. That's that is nothing to really just we have to pay attention mm -hmm. to that. We yeah. must highlight that. That must be saluted. Yep. That's Real why talk. I've always loved Big Sean. Even though I'm not saying every album and every song that I've loved, he has definitely dipped low in terms of like music quality in my opinion like he's released some stuff that has like not done well yeah but i've always loved him because like whatever he did it really did feel like that's what he wanted to do at the time like he didn't really do inauthentic shit mm -hmm. and he's had a long career but yeah. i don't know i'm excited for his new album though i don't know they kind of the two of them kind of give me i made this up by the way so mm -hmm. don't coin me but i call it like the million dollar theory right mm -hmm. and us as people especially in the united states of america we have this theory that if we reach a million dollars or if we, because, you know, a million dollars is like the moniker of success now, right? Yeah. Or you're a millionaire now. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of people who feel like, okay, 
if I hit a million dollars, I made it. Now I can be happy. As opposed to the other people like, no, like me being myself, me waking up and being happy with the things I agree with, the things I align with is what makes me rich. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it's really, that was really, I'm still taking it back a little bit. I'm like, nigga, anybody would have been like, nigga, clear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they would have forgot the no, side. It, yeah. it wasn't even like a reason they of, of like, oh, like, you know, I, I don't want to do it. His reason was, no, I want to make it safe for the kids to wrap yeah. along to. I don't want them to feel bad, um, cussing a little bit. And he said that it was just be, very honorable. And he said something that was really cool, right? He said it would be cool, good for both of their brands, Yeah. right? We've had discussions here about uh, what maybe sex, the sexy reds and the ice spices have done to the youth and, you know, what they add or what kids pull from that. So to see someone who's like, you know what, even if I'm not as big as these artists, I can help them still translate over and the kids could still enjoy these artists. Yeah. And still get now, I want to be clear. I'm not holy to now. I love when they be talking about pussy and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and act like I'm, I'm Jesus. Oh, yeah, we're not saying that. We're no, not we're not saying that. that. I want to be very clear here. But... It's good to see that, you know what, we can still make secular music yeah. and it still be okay. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, that's one of the reasons why. Yeah. And we, we played the song on the podcast before, mm -hmm. but um, me, is it Me and You or Only You by Thames? I can't remember the song. Me and uh, You. Is it, it's Me and You? Yeah. Me and You originally had Drake on it. And that song, uh, Tim's premise, yeah. the message is her and God, talking about God, her spirituality, whatever. <laughs> what Drake did. And then Drake got on a song and started talking about his <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. Good point. Bleep, yeah. bleep that. I can't say the B word. Oh my god! Can't Pop. say the B word. Yes, you can. No. So, bleep it. But it was Drake talking about him and his women. Yeah. Relations yeah. with women. Okay? Yeah. Lovely young ladies. All right. Um, so yeah, she took Drake off of the song. And I think that was one of his best verses in years. Yeah. Like we yeah. know what Drake does with that type of vibe. That was good. Mm -hmm. We know what Drake does with that type of vibe. Mm -hmm. And for her to be like, you That's know what? I'm gonna pull Drake off of this song because his messaging isn't a line mm -hmm. with the song with what i want this song to be mm -hmm. i'm gonna take it off so we've seen like other people do this maybe that wasn't such a big story yeah where mm -hmm. people know that drake was on that song and mm -hmm. he was taken off yeah. but it's not the first time that somebody said you know what drake slow down bro yeah, yeah. your messaging is not really aligned with where i want to go so mm -hmm. i'm gonna pull you off and, and i man. think that goes back to having a soul yeah. justin timberlake versus jc yeah do no. the math no. <laughs> Say, well, that, was such but, a, that was such a perfect <laughs> example that you just but oh you my gotta, god, that was perfect. The Thames. Oh, sorry, that was just no, that so was good. Great. That was so good. No, that was, that was that, no. You killing, bro? I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> and, and the other thing too is like it, Drake. I, I'm assuming mm -hmm. is so used to getting whatever he wants or a little yacht. Yeah, like I was, was just like, about to say that. Yes, so when somebody you. puts Damn, a roadblock in front of you like that, like. It, being used to, uh, yo, I'm gonna just get whatever I want. Like you're just gonna do whatever you want. And even Mr. Hotspot said, I think Alex, you might be, you might say this. In a few minutes, but I'm gonna take your point. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, grab uh, it, grab it, grab it. He basically said, Mr. Hotspot basically said, Yo, Paul, I mean, a uh, partner left. Did he say grab it? My yeah, fault. That's what he said. <laughs> Guys, let's move on. Uh, he was about to make a Mr. Hotspot said, Grab it, grab it, grab it. My fault. Grab it. Yeah, not after Diddy. We can't say certain shit after Diddy. Don't even say that. Privy. Privy. Sorry. My fault, Pete. Nah, really get it off this time. We promise. Mr. Hotspot at the end said, Yo, like, all right. Damn, y'all niggas, like, you're doing a lot. All right, bet. If you just make sure that it's like clean, I'm gonna let you rock. Right, and he re-recorded he, he would re-record yeah. a clean version and they right. still were like and Lil Yachty was it was, honestly the more I think about it is so disrespectful. It's like OD. yo, I gave you a solution to sample my song and Lil Yachty's like, fuck that. Here you go, Kais, and I'll play it. <laughs> like that was that's just so like, what are you like why? And, and not for nothing, it alludes to the vulture point that people have made about not only Drake, but Lil Yachty. I, I know a lot of people aren't really super familiar with Yachty's catalog, but he's made some turns. <laughs> I've seen Yachty get with the Detroit rappers, do a Detroit tape. I've seen him get with the sexy drill, do sexy drill shit, which is fine. Like music is meant to collaborate. And do like the super experimental shit. Yeah, and just yeah. do super experimental shit. Oh, okay, I'm going over there with James. What was that? James Blake he did that with? I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was James Blake he did yep, that with. Yep, yep. Okay, let me pivot over here with James Blake and it's like, okay, cool. I, I know you want to be a part of certain genres and, and new vibes, new music and things of that nature, but are we going about these things the correct way? Or like Pierre said, are we just doing things because we're just so accustomed to getting our way? I think he's. I think he knows exactly what he's doing because Lil Yachty is not new in this industry. He's been in it probably like a decade close yeah. to. Yeah. So he knows exactly what it what it feels like to to sample someone and then essentially not no. give them what they're worth. And him and Hotspot exactly are doing. both from Atlanta. But it's yeah. just, it's, it's a respect thing because 
you wouldn't do that to Jay Z and then expect Jay Z. You could do that to Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you could. <laughs> nah. You could. You could try. Oh, you could try. You could try. Okay, you could try. <laughs> you could take a Jay Z sample and yeah. send it to Kai Shanai yeah. and think like, but it's just a respect thing. Clearly, like there was a lack of respect for yeah. that creator, for that artist, for whatever the reason may be. Maybe he felt like he was doing him a favor, but not everybody looks at all favors as favors. Yes, money right? does not it, sway yeah, everyone. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I think it was a great, great point or, yeah. or, or example of just seeing like again some niggas just be out of touch when you are the breadwinner of your family when you are the person who has elevated your generation or the, the the friend group around you to success a lot of people don't check you a mm -hmm. lot of people don't tell you no mm -hmm. right so maybe he's also a victim of that nobody's probably telling Lil Yachty no or you shouldn't at do this, this point, or this right? ain't cool honestly at in that point. exact interview you said I was on flagrant where he said yeah, this yeah, I was on flagrant, literally yeah. when he said yeah so I just gave it to Kai to you know play and leak it and so, then and so the host, one one host I forgot who it was but he was like oh that's smart and I listened to it, I was like no that's not smart that's disrespectful <laughs> yeah. like so yeah. what Savon was saying there, no one's checking him right right and if anything even if he meant that in a sarcastic way oh that's smart He's still not hearing that and be like, you know what? I need to be checked on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. He said it so nonchalantly yeah. and casually, right? Yeah, like, he's like, yeah, I did that. It's yeah. cool. It reminds yo, me. He, yo, uh -huh. he fucking with God? It's all right. I gave it the caution out and all that. Like, <laughs> like you, bro, that's how you, it comes <laughs> off. You wouldn't do, you, you wouldn't do that to Young Thug. You wouldn't, no. you wouldn't do that to 2 Chainz. You wouldn't do that to anybody else that's respected or that you respect in Atlanta. Right. So it's kind of like you, you, you almost pick and choose and I get it. You got a Drake song and that's dope. Mm. And we all appreciate it. But if I can't download it on Apple, I'm sorry. It's not really moving the needle. Yeah. 